Making a plan by drawing a picture. How many posts does it take to support a straight fence that is 14 meters if the posts are placed every 2 meters? So let's draw some posts. At the beginning of our fence we need a post. 2 meters later we need another one. Every 2 meters we're going to install a post for the fence. And the last one at the end. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It takes eight posts to support a fence. Now be very careful because if you take 14 and you divide it by two, you only get a seven. And that will not be enough of posts because 7 calculates how many regions the fence is divided into. So we have how many posts does it take to support a fence around a square field that measures 6 meters on the side if the posts are placed every 3 meters. So let's draw a picture. So we need a corner post. We have 1, 2, 3 meters and we need another post. 1, 2, 3 meters, we need another post. And that would give us 6 meters. Let's make a square. So 1, 2, 3, 3 meters in. We make another post. 1, 2, 3, another post. 1, 2, 3, we have another post. 1, 2, 3. Yet another post, one, two, three, another post, and we connect these two. So all together we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight posts. So the answer would be eight posts. How many cuts are needed to divide a pole 16 feet into 2 foot sections? So let's see, we have, we have our little log and every 2 feet we're going to make a cut. So we need to make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 cuts. It takes 7 cuts. Be very careful, if you just take 16 and you divide it by 2, you're going to get 8. Now, 8 represents the number of sections you will cut the log into. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 sections. For the second part of this question, we are told that it takes 3 minutes to make a cut. How much time would it take to cut the... Uh, pole into two foot sections. We already know that it would take seven cuts and it takes us three minutes to make a cut. So it would take 21 minutes to make all cuts. Aria reads a section of a book. She begins reading on top of page number seven and ends at the bottom of page 12. How many pages did she read? So let's see. So we're going to start reading at the top of page number 7. We have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So altogether she read 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So altogether she read six pages. Now be very careful. If you take 12 and you minus 7, you will get a 5. The 5 is the difference between 7 and 12, so it's only going to count these pages. But she started reading at the beginning on the top of page number 7. So taking so just taking a difference would skip this whole first page that she actually read from the top of it. That's all.